really, I don't know what is now, 85, four games to play, means 97. Good, let's try. Let's try that. And if that's enough, perfect. And if not, we cannot change it. And we didn't lose it here or there or whatever in this or that game. There will, but very smart people will come out and say, yeah, if you would have won against Leicester, then you would be champion now, stuff like that. It's all and only weak and people and idiots bring something like this up. And this, by the way, on this point, we can finally close the slipping book. Huh? Robbo slipped and nothing happened, so it's not a Liverpool thing. Done. Welcome to the Fat Back Four. Uh, I'm Gav, that's Matt, that's Grizz. Um, how are we all? Uh, Porto were beaten, they were knocked aside last night. Um, Man City thought they won, then they didn't, and uh, var amazing. Um, where are we going to start? Matt, I'll tell you what we do, we'll start with Chelsea. We'll go back a little bit. Um, how big a win is that, Matt? Because we were talking about just off air before we got going. Um, how big how big a, a win is that because for me nil all at half time um, and go and win it massive what's the story what do you think yeah we we didn't let it slip it was uh, it was beautiful it, it, but to be fair it's like we're, we're on this run now where anyone we come across I wasn't even, I wasn't even nervous at half time uh, we were doing what we always do we we turn the screw we 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 look for openings in the defence and we wear them down and we see a lot more goals in the second half and especially later on in the second half than we do in the first and it's because of that reason we just wear teams down so <clears throat> going into half time nil nil whereas you in the past it would uh, worry us didn't didn't worry me at all I thought we looked uh, fairly dominant we were um, playing h- how Klopp wants us to play and uh, yeah I, I was pretty happy we were going to go on to win and, and then fucking out. It was unbelievable. Grizz, um, I'm going to give you a full shout on uh, Salah's goal. Um, it's just unbelievable. Out of world. I know it's been talked to death and we've watched it to death um, since last Sunday. But Do the Mane one first. Fuck that. Uh, the Mane one was good, but I'll give, I'll give Grizz a full score on the Salah one because um, there's, there's moments in seasons and, and that for me is one of them moments where you think, not so much a name is on it, but Jesus, we're, really, we're flying here. We're really, really flying. Yeah, it's um, a lot of debate going on if it's the best of everyone's favourite goal ever. And the more I watch it, the more I watch it, the more... Because at the time I just thought, wow. Because remember, guys, I sent you the video of, of, my, of my mother-in-law praying and five seconds later we're teaming up. Because I'm not like Matt. I wasn't cool at half-time. I wasn't the Didn't happen. I thought, I thought we were... I thought it was a very good game. It was a fucking... But we didn't need Chelsea to be playing so well. And, you know, I, I was really nervous. And that, as Matt says, that Mane goal, like, sort of, was the sort of the trigger. And then Salah just topped you off. The more you watch it, I mean, the pass, I think some people have forgotten the pass from VVD, just sort of, just chips it over to him. And Salah's first touch, which has been criticised this season, a lot of people have said, oh, his touch is poor. You know what I mean? So his touch was immaculate. And then one touch to come out, uh, cut inside and then say what we want about Salah we have never seen him score a thunder bastard like that have we like one of those that goes into like he curls it he's usually a curler into the top corner like the Everton goal and, and, and the Roma goal etc etc but this one was proper one of those fucking laces into the top corner as everyone said reminiscent of that Robbie Fowler strike against Villa so yeah I think it's if it wins us if, if we win the league it will definitely be one of my favourite goals of all time. <clears throat> You're forgetting as well, Hendo's run to uh, draw the man and make the space for him. Oh, oh, yeah. did, you, did you not even look at that? No, no, I, I've <clears throat> been watching every run of Hendo. Hendo's Hendo been, hater. Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> literally. I mean, he. I don't think he... A lot of people... Well, I saw someone giving him credit, uh, making the run to create the space. I don't actually think he was. I think he was making the run for a pass. But this, the, it was a great run. And the space that they created helped towards the goal. Yeah, well, that's he, he probably is making a run to, for a pass, but that's the sort of thing where when, when you have a midfielder that's making runs like that, um, 
you know, it does create the space. And <coughs> you look, even when he brings the ball inside, the amount of space he's in, where where is Chelsea midfield gone? Because it's it's non-existent, but what a fucking hit. Matt, you want to talk about the force because um, Southampton, for just the goal Henderson gets against Southampton the other week was um, him breaking into the box and finishing. This time he breaks into the box and picks out a lovely ball from Mane. Uh, crucial opening, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a hand of man possessed in the moment, but we all knew. I mean, some there was the odd no, people. No, 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 come on, come on. There was a few people calling him shit in general, but most people said six is in his position, play him higher up. He's he's okay, but what he's doing now is a lot better than okay. He, he's actually he, he's we we've changed the midfield dynamic now where we're actually. Dominated teams a lot more, just just perfect time for the running, and he's the spearhead of that. Um, he's got Kaiser next to him, who, as good as he is, and everyone thought he's going to be the next thing, including myself. He has struggled this season, so what he's doing now, he, he he's taking that upon his his own shoulders as captain, and he's putting in the captain's performance week in week week out, <clears throat> and he's done the same against Chelsea uh, with that lovely little run and a dink for Manny. And I I just think as good as Salah's goal was the importance of the first goal and the way the team created it rather than just Salah, who we already know is beautiful. Uh, it was a lot better and a lot more important for our season, whereas obviously we blew it against Leicester. This is where we unblew it against Chelsea, I thought. Yeah, absolutely. It was, for me, like going in a half-time, it's <coughs> nil all. And, you know, it would be easy to get tense, but the belief I have in this team is that, look, we'll find a way. Whether it's whether it's coming from behind like Southampton or or going and beating teams, you know, or you know Fulham is a setback, but we go and win it. I, I was just very calm over the whole thing and and just thought, no, we get this. This this side is different. It's different to any Liverpool side I've seen, and I include 13 and 14 and that, um, <coughs> 13 and 14 and that. It, it is oh, just different. Yeah, no, it's different from. Go on, man. Go on. No, I was going to say, I was thinking about it um, before. And even when we lost in the final last year, it didn't think it didn't feel like it was the end or something. It, it felt like it was the start, and mm. this team was just going to get better. And and this is what's happening. Not only now are we in the semi-finals of the Champions League, it feels normal to be in the semi-finals of the Champions League. And at the same time as doing that, we're now going for for the title in what's going to be Liverpool's record-breaking point season for the title. We're just un- unlucky that someone else is challenging us at the moment. The best way to look at it is, is probably a good segue, doing Gav's job for him, a good segue into uh, uh, into Porto. Look how relaxed and casual we were about Porto. It's a core final of the Champions League, a chance to reach the semi-final. And we were literally, I think, near enough, most fans thought job done. And even if it's not job done, we'll get it done. It won't be a problem. We'll stroll through. And this is, we're talking about reaching the semi-finals two years in a row. Was it, and, and previous to that, was it, uh, Europa League final in his first season, wasn't it? So yeah. Europa League final, Champions League final, and then semi final. And, and 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 as you say, we're just so okay with it. It's like normal. So it just shows you what level we're actually playing at. We have to accept it as fans now that we are a fucking elite team and we're not going anywhere. Yeah, we are an elite team. There's no doubt about it. Nobody in Europe wants us. Um, you know. You know, you at Barcelona. Barcelona were always coming through that toy, and Barcelona kind of knew they were getting us. But anyone in that draw for the, for the quarterfinals definitely doesn't want us, and Barcelona won't be too happy with having to play us. And Spurs and Ajax, uh, although I think that'll be a cracking semi final, um, I think they might fancy their chances more against Barcelona than us, and um, particularly Spurs because we play them every week. Well, not every week, but we see we play that style, you know, in the in the Premier League. I've seen, I reckon Ajax go through against them. I mean, I've seen Ajax about 20 times this season and yeah, they're a very too. good team. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> yeah, no. What's the, ca- what's, the, what's the captain's name, Matt? Well, Van der Beek. Uh, Hoover. I asked Matt. Hoover. <laughs> Hoover. <laughs> N- Nil, <laughs> Nil Fisk. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that's, that's an in-joke because Grizz pretends to watch all sorts of football and he actually doesn't. Not pretends. Uh, if you go in the other room, I've got multi-screen, I've got about six leagues playing <clears> at the same time. Not leagues today because it's Europa League. Uh, but, you know, usually I've got about six different leagues going on at the same time. Jippos. Uh, Claire says, we're not doing too badly. People, not you guys in brackets, need to learn a bit of patience. Um, I'm very patient, Claire. I've, I've said it from the start with winning the league and, 
And then Me too. Of, um, Grizz doesn't. No, Grizz doesn't. Grizz we, can answer, we can answer that later. But, um, <clears throat> He's a butler. But, no, He's weak. We, we actually believe that we're going to do a boat, me and Matthew. Um, I don't, we can answer Grizz later and see if he does. I don't know if he's changed in the last 24 hours. I doubt it. Um, just to let you know, this show is in association with Free Retro. The only way you can win the prize tonight, there's no questions, there's no adding up, there's no arithmetic. Don't get out an abacus, don't do anything that like that. that. The only way you win is we... I, You'll see on our Twitter feed throughout the show, we post up a link to this show. All you have to do is retweet it. That's it. Whoever retweets it, we'll stick all the names in the hat. I get Matt to pick a number between one and the many retweets we get. And then that's it. That's the winner. That's how we're going to do it. Um, so just three retro, if you don't know, does all the retro gear. Um, quite apt, considering the Liverpool, uh, New Jersey for next season that's come out, is very much retro. Um, and like, I think, is it the 83, 84? Jersey, I'm not too sure I didn't look it up, but it's it's um it's three retro is great for all that sort of gear. On to Porto, um we go into the game two 0 Grizz, um and we went to Man City last year winning three 0 and we were all up the wall for the, the week before we went into this one and we were like yeah it'll be kill cool. we're fine. We didn't start great Grizz. I thought the first half an hour was or before we got the goal, um was awful to be perfectly honest with you. I thought it was very hesitant. We are very sloppy, and we could have been one or two down, but we got there in the end. But we are always confident. Yeah, I mean, you know, despite you guys calling me a bottler and a coward and weak, mm. uh, I'm totally the opposite in the Champions true, true League. Story. It's, it's mad. It's mad. No, it's really mad. in the Champions League. I really don't think we've got a problem. There's not a team that can stop us over two legs. In a one-off, anything can happen. But I'm so confident of getting jobs done in over two legs and. I knew it's going to be tough. I knew it's going to be sort of um, the atmosphere is going to be sort of volatile in the first twenty minutes or so. Um, but if you, if, if I mean, if we look back and if we analyse the game, sort of they had sort of shots. There was plenty of shots, but not really in from dangerous situations or dangerous. You know, I mean, compared to the first leg where they had a couple of clear cut chances, it seemed to me these ones were a lot of pot shots and sort of around on the edge of the box and. You know, our beautiful goalkeeper was making them look fairly easy. I knew once we weathered that storm, we weren't good, we weren't brilliant, but I thought it was it was okay, it was it was manageable, it was under control. And obviously, as soon as we score a goal, I knew it'd be over and they'd be deflated. But but yeah, in in terms of sort of feeling confident, I was. It was just my only fear was, you know, with nasty fuckers like Pepe around. I thought. Please, 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 no injuries, you know, to any of our big boys. That was all I was worried about, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's a great show. Um, to be honest with you, I was worried about that as well, especially when it goes to 0 I thought, no, these boys are just going to get stuck in here now and let's see what happens. Uh, Tino says, three retro quality. Used them before, great prices, quick delivery and very good quality gear. Thanks, Tino. Hope you're well. Anyone want to have a little message for Tino, your little brother? <laughs> no. Oh, I love Tino. All right, Tino. I <laughs> love Tino. <laughs> just says, no. <laughs> Text them later, Matt. Text them later. Uh, Matt, for you, 2 0. You, you, you'd, um, you think this is done and dusted before we even kick off last night? Would I, would I be right in saying that? <clears throat> yeah, it, I didn't think we'd get out second gear, and exactly what happened. Um, it does feel like we are conceding a few more chances towards the end of the season, maybe tired legs. We're in two uh, competitions going from them both. Um, but you're never really worried over the full course of the game. Even if we concede a, a good chance, you've got Allison there. Um, you've got you've got Van Dyke obviously putting pressure on, and we've all, and the attacking three now are just coming into their own. So people are going to have to score two three against us. We're at, we're at that point again, um, and I, I was never worried about this. I said before the game kicked off, we, we'll breeze it, and we did. Look look at the score. Yeah, in the end we did. I thought Allison was very impressive <coughs> first half though. Matt, he, there's plenty of shots on him, and he doesn't. He doesn't fumble them. He doesn't push them out. He he, he holds on to them, the large majority of them. Um, oh, he's just a, a pure alpha, and that's what keepers need to be. He like even when he messes up, it doesn't matter. He'll, he'll try and curve turn some cunt the next time anyway. He, he's just got so much confidence in himself. He's just a pure alpha keeper, and it's perfect for us. Yeah, no, he is, and he gets the number one jersey next season, Chris. Um, <clears throat> he, I thought he was very, very good, and not not kept us in the game, but. Although they were getting plenty of encouragement in the way they were playing, he gave them none because he was holding on to everything that came at him. Yeah, no. Uh, it, are you great? You're not Chris, huh? I know you no, tried to be and you want to be. You're not Chris, huh? 
I'm quite uh, sorry. I, I thought I thought Allison was uh, he was one of our calmest players actually. I mean, as as, as we said, there was loads of shots peppered <coughs> at him, sort of all, from all angles. I mean, they were like it was like a shoe and sight policy at times from Porto, especially that the, the, the big guy up front, Morega. I mean, he was shooting from all sorts of angles, but he was the calmest man, and, and that's one of the main things that he brought <coughs> since he's been at the club. This, this it's not arro- is it arrogance? Maybe yeah, you could call it arrogance. I call it confidence and an aura of sort of you know calmness about him, and it just and him and VVD are just a perfect blend, aren't they? So even if sort of alongside them, if Matip or uh, Lovren, you know, want to have one of them, you know manic fits that sometimes have, you know, he calms them down and we start again. And even Robertson and Trent, you know, he keeps them in check because sometimes our, our defending can be hectic and frenzied, you know, and he just calms you all down and we start again. How many times have we been under pressure in games and we think, oh, fuck, the opposition are back to score now in past years. Now we're so confident, that, all right, no problem. They're going to have a few shots. They're going to have a bit of pressure, but we're going to overcome this. We're going to weather the storm and we're going to calm it all down. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Um, hey, my my mate Yossi's asked there on the Perry. Does Grizz still think we'll finish second in the league? We'll come to that. Oh, give, give, him, give him the answer. Go on. Um, well, you're weak. Or, with context or just a yes? No, or? just a yes or no. You, you're a weak idiot. Yeah, I, th- I think I think we finish second. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, what a bell end. Okay. Boots <laughs> and off, Dad. What does that mean? We will finish second. We'll so weak, man. So weak. Um, he's, weak. he's just a, he's afraid. Uh, one just, city. No, he's no, had his heart just, broken in the past. Uh, no, you what? You're afraid. Well, why? Like, look at the team. Look at what's going on now. Look yeah, at what sure. Klopp has oh, yeah, done. Looked, yeah. like, no, 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 no. Shut up. I'm talking. Look at what Klopp has done in the last three years. Look, look how he's taken this whole club. Look at look how good the team is. It's one of the, the best teams the Premier League has ever seen. Correct. If you can't if you can't believe that they're going to win it this season, then when are you ever going to believe? Next season. Why next season? Why well, yeah, tell us why. A man says he's going to sell ten players. No, no. I just think we're getting better and better, and this is a sign. You had some, some inside what info gonna, that was signing you, Messi or what something. Are you gonna, what are you going to let me answer now? See, this is what I mean, isn't it? I can't get. Oh uh, yeah, I've finished talking. Go on. All right. So I think we're getting better and better, and I said at the start of the season we're going to be the only challenge to see, and we've been more than challenges. We're in fact ahead of them at this very <laughs> point in time. Eventually, um, uh, I think we will within the league under Klopp. If it's this season, amazing. I think we are an amazing team. We, I've picked them up. I've told you what I think of this team. It's the best team. I'm a little bit older than you and Gav, but, but I'm saying it's the best team in my life. The fatter, yeah, taller, richer, handsome. Anyway, but, everything, but, but the point being is, look, I'm not saying... You haven't seen my favourite account. Is, I'm not saying I've got access to it, son. I'm not seeing it. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not saying I'm not saying we're a bad team or, or I'm not being negative. There you are. That's what you're saying. You, well, you're no, a weak well, idiot. Not, and Klopp not... called you out this week for being one. Klopp did call you out. Personally address me, yeah? Yeah. Well, pretty much. I, I think he's in the... You, uh, you didn't see it because he think, blocked I you think... and you blocked him back. <laughs> I, I, I said... You said... No, no, no. What happened? You said... You said... You said we blew it against Leicester and West Ham. Klopp came out and said, these people have said we blew it against West Ham. These people are weak and idiots. Yeah, you that, did. That is you. I'm not going to argue against Mr. Klopp, right? But what I'm, I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you is, I said, if City... Uh, sorry, if we beat Chelsea, um, Spurs and Saints in those three games, mm. yeah. then we become slight faves in my eyes. Okay, yeah? we're sl- okay so we're slight faves, but you think we're coming second? Well, How's that well, work? Sli- because... Look, what I'm, cause I'm going back to carry so on. So we're not slightly second. Just, I, might, I might just have a smoke. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to carry on and give you some context to what I mean by that. So we were slight faves. But yeah. I feel, I feel... So you think we became second faves? No, hold on, man, hold on, hold on, man. Let, let, no, let him explain. Not in, training, not in training, but when <clears> City <throat> got dumped out of the cup last night, it just tilts it back in their favour just by like sort of 0.0.0.1% in my humble opinion. And okay. that's because that's the only reason. If they were still in the Champions League, I would have said we're slight phase now or stuck to my word. Well, the only people who say humble opinion are people who've got a shit opinion. But but you said we we lost a slight fave before the Chelsea game. Do, don't know. You can't prove it. Where did I say that? <laughs> you little fucking... I'm not laughing at Putin. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't say that. No, well, look, um, we got sidetracked a bit there. I enjoyed it though. 
Um, Liverpool too, Chris says you have to be positive that we can win it from doubters to believers. Um, I've said if I have a countdown going that was half serious and probably less than half serious and a bit of a mess after West Ham in the open day of the season. I said 29 more wins when we won that one because I thought 30 wins would do it. Um, I'm down to fucking four. <laughs> We've four games left. I can't believe it's still going. Um, I haven't kept up with yours. I saw um, Kieran Clavin's team. Is no, no. no is he doing one as well? Yeah, his is good. Is it? What? Yeah. Is it better than mine? Yeah, it's three wins. All right. But he can't. No, no, no. no. He, he, he we has, can't win it he with has three wins. He has that all wrong. He has that all wrong. Um, but look, <clears throat> I don't know. Look, we leave. We come back to it later. We come back to it later because I want us to have a little talk about what we have left in the league. But just back to Porto. Um, you know, we get the goal from um, Mane, a brilliant pass from Salah when everyone thinks he's going to shoot, and he just slots it across for Mane. I know, Grizz, you have a um, a different opinion on that as well. You think he's shooting, don't you? Yeah, I think it's clear as day that that wasn't a, 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 a assist. You know, it was an assist. It turned out to be an assist, but there was no intention of him passing to Mane there. That was a confident Salah, even on his right, even on his left, even on his right. He swiveled, tr- saw the corner, tried to curl it to the, scuffed it. <clears throat> Mane uh, anticipated it, you know, because he's in such a hot streak. He's, he's amazing, Mane at the moment. Absolutely, my favourite footballer in the world. Um, and um, you got to the end of it. I mean, how people think that was a pass, they'll have to explain how they think that was a pass. I've explained how I think it was a shot. I think I think there's very little power in it. I think that's what it is. I think if he's swinging at it and it goes there, but he, he seems to... Or maybe he's he, right he, he he got the power against Chelsea. Rifle. Yeah, he used all the power, yeah. He has the power back yeah. up. He needs yeah. to fill it back up, yeah. Yeah, he has yeah. to do... He, he, there's only... You have to power... You have to do so many simple moves before you can do a special move. It's like Tekken. <laughs> do you remember Tekken? Um, yeah, but, so, uh, but Matt, did it surprise you a little bit that Firmino comes on at half-time? I know it works. He gets on the score sheet and he's really good. But did it surprise you seeing him coming on at half-time? Yeah. Not really. I was surprised he was left out. Um, I know he's done loads of running this season. Uh, it's been it's been tough for him and and Divox, not too bad of a replacement, uh, especially when it's Porter away and we're already up in the aggregate. But yeah, I mean, I, I feel Klopp looked at the game for it wasn't going exactly how he wanted, and as we all know, Firmino is key to how he wants the team to play. So for the money, he gets forty five minutes rest. Um, you're doing well, and then that's it. We we just clicked and went on from there. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it just shows how important Firmino is. Yeah, it does, it does show how important he is. But, like, I, I thought, you know, training up on aggregate going into the second half, maybe it was a plan all the time. Give Firmino 45 minutes just to keep him <clears> in that groove rather than, you know, throwing him on with 20 to go and it's more or less he's on and he's off again, you know. It, it, maybe it was a move like that. Grizz, the lineup itself, though, did it tell you that you can nearly more or less predict what we're going to see on Sunday? I know we always try to do, and, but... Did that really show signs of what we're looking at on Sunday with the way he lined up last night? Yeah, I think so. I think it was. Um, I think it was pretty obvious that Hendo would get a rest, especially that he picked up a knock, didn't he? He came off with twenty to go or something like that. Um, you know, Ginny Ginny had a day off <laughs> against Chelsea, so it, it was obvious. Um, you know. Now, I, I mean, I thought Naby might get another run out yesterday, but no, it's good. It makes sense. Naby carries on uh, on Sunday. I think the team it picks itself really. To be honest with you, um, there's just I, I think the team picks itself from now to the end of the season. To be honest with you, barring the odd Champions League game, maybe where he might go a bit Brexit, but overall, <laughs> uh, ov- overall in the league game, I think the team picks itself. It's got to be it's got to be Fabinho, Hendo, and Keita on current form. I just well, don't that- see any changes to it. Yeah, we're at a point now, though. I mean, we all knew most of the season. We knew the back four and we knew the the attack and we were always a little bit worried about the midfield. But now we're at a point, I think, where we're confident that Genie could come in for either Naby or Hendo and we'd be pretty happy with it. Yeah, I mean, the only thing, the only dilemma probably would be, and there's a lot of clamour for it, especially on Twitter, is, you know, Joe Gomez coming back in. No, no, no. You can't. You just. No, you just not, can't. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I you mean, just can't. look. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> yeah. No. Go on. I agree. I know you do. Go on. 
No, nah, yeah, yeah, you don't do it. You don't mess up a, a good defence. He bought Lov, even bringing Lovren in, I thought that was um, a little bit risky. Uh, mm. I don't know why he done that, but it fucking worked. Don't don't doubt Klopp. Uh, but yeah, Joe, Joe Gomez, uh, that is too far a risk. I think he's, he's had too long out. He's not in the flow. He's there now uh, for men to use only. Yeah, no, uh, it, well, it, we could throw him when, we could throw him in the last game when we've got the league tied up, maybe uh, think, and and rest, rest Van Dijk for the uh, Champions League final. I think you, that, I, I, I think you might see more of Joe Gomez than that. I'm being honest with you. Um, I don't know what people people watching think. Um, send in your opinion on that. Do you think Do you think Joe Gomez will will see more game time towards the end of the season? I think I think he'll he come might. in. He'll come in like he did. Uh, he'll come in maybe out right back to give Trent a little rest. Uh, that's a lot safer than throwing him in a centre back. I disagree. Why? Because I think Explain. he's a way better centre half than he is a right back. And I think yeah, wherever, he's wherever, he's most, up, yeah, wherever he's most comfortable, people aren't getting past him. But you see, you have to remember, right? Like Lovren, don't even get me fucking started on Lovren. Lovren goes off against Wolves on the 24th of December and turns up 14 fucking weeks later. You know what I mean? Then he's sick. Then there's something else. Lovren, I think you won't see again this season. I think there might be a. a Bit of something there where the, the the staff are a bit kind of you can't rely on this fella at all, and you seen it there. I know he was he was supposedly ill for the game um, last night, but Gomez is brought in. I think you might see it where Gomez will will start the odd game. Huddersfield at home could be one of them. You know that kind of way. But I know where you're coming from as well. You keep going. Matip has done brilliantly, despite me not loving yeah. him personally. He's done Sense brilliantly, facts. but he stayed fit. That's the biggest thing for me with Matip. He stayed yeah. fit. You know that kind of way, but. I don't know. He doesn't need too much running centre backs. He doesn't need too much of a rest. <coughs> it's sharpness. Um, it's mental sharpness as well. You know that kind of way. But look, he gets on. Gomez comes on. He comes on in that right back position. Um, he gets some minutes and he gives the ball away a few times. But that's that's always going to happen in top tier football when <laughs> when you're coming back from such a lengthy injury. Grizz, um, we make a three and we make a four. Henderson comes on. I thought Henderson was brilliant when he came on. Um, I don't know why Matt is just liking stuff on the screen now again. Um, but. Henderson comes on, Grizz, and I thought he was he was great again. Confident on the ball, he he, he gives an assist for Firmino's header. He's he's knocking it through players' legs. There's a real confidence to him at the minute, isn't there? That's exactly what he is, Gav. He's confident, isn't he? He's, he's he's on a high. He's he had a lot of critics, and he's and these players are always aware of their critics and criticisms, uh, and it shows in his celebrations. Like he's tending to sort of celebrate assists as much as goals these days, which is uh, good for him. Good on him, he deserves it. But uh, in terms of, yeah, in terms of he's making an impact, I mean, you know, uh, Hendo fanboys will say, you know, he's actually playing like a captain, where, you know, a lot of people have said, well, what, you know, what does he bring as a captain? Well, this is what he's bringing. He's, he changed the game. So undoubtedly, uh, he's changed the game against Southampton and um, Chelsea, right? In terms of making dynamic sort of impression on the game against Saint, it's coming on a sub, and obviously, as, as as Matt said, making that goal for Mane, and even yesterday, I mean, you know, you could sort of, you know, he's getting regular assists. Is that three assists now and a, and a goal or something or two? Assists yeah, he, got he comes on against Southampton. He's credited with the goal with the assist for Salah, um, and then he scores. Then he has an assist against yeah, Chelsea, I mean, he's, and then he's, he's an assist last night. You know, I hate comparing it to other Liverpool players. You know, I hate sort of always comparing players. But we've got to say, it's, it's, some would say it's more. He's made more of an impact on that side than Jimmy, who has been playing that role far more than him as well. So look, at the end of the day, no, I don't think he's played that role. I he think has. he's played. I mean, no, played he hasn't. Jimmy's a lot more reserved than he is. No, Genie's a lot more reserved than Hendo's been. I think we've changed the whole dynamic of the midfield and we've we've got uh, Fabinho sitting deep and two box-to-box players who have been asked to push and support a lot. And, and that's where it is, where Genie was always supporting Fabinho more than, than the attackers, whereas these um, two now... I don't, I, don't, I, don't think, I think that was just a couple of games to get Matt... To, to no, it wasn't. Fabinho was certainly, it? To, to, to let Fabinho settle in, it was. Once Fabinho got his feet and pre... Fabinho, Ginny has been playing that role, but you know Ginny has different attributes. I accept that, and I, I and, and, and I take. I'm not saying he's a bad player or anything. I'm not criticizing That's good to be. as such. Yeah, I'm just just comparing him to Hendo at the moment. But yeah, Hendo's fantastic at the moment. Gav, uh, 
you know, it, it, it's good to it's good to see. You know, you can see the passion in the guys. You know, he's not as talented as maybe a Fabinho. You know what I mean? Or even a Gini, naturally talented. You know, um, but the guy's got passion, and it's shown in his celebrations. And good for him. Yeah, no, listen, I'm I'm I've always been a fan of Henderson. I think you know the the, the negativity towards him when he was playing deeper. I thought was over the top. Don't get me wrong. I, I've I've watched Henderson at times, and I thought he's played around too easy. I think he's better in a four-two-three-one than he would be in a four-three-three as a deepest player. He's he's been the one that's been chosen to go into this midfield now and be a little bit more attacking. I think if you put when Alden in that position and asked him to do that, I think he could do it as well. I just think it's a it's an aspect of our play that we've tried to improve on because if you if you if you look back over the last six, eight, ten league games, we've had to really drag victories out of them, you know, really mm. kind of really kind of push ourselves. Whereas this little extra extra piece to our play I think has really helped us going forward, but has also not confused other sides, but it's given them one extra thing to think about when they thought if we can stop A B and C we're okay. Now they haven't because we're we're flying in the league. But just that little bit extra I think is great and it it, it turns out it's Henderson that he has on the pitch. Um and doing that I think if you've asked for B, um when Alden to do that, I think you get that out of him as well. It's just another aspect to our play. I think that's been really good, and Henderson has been the one to benefit from it. And long may it continue because, you know, the likes of Cardiff, Huddersfield, Newcastle to a certain extent, Wolves. You don't know in the end of the season, but these teams will try to sit. And if you can get people breaking in the box, it just makes them think a little bit more and gives them players that you expect to do the magical things that probably that extra bit of space, and that can only help. Um, but look, we make a three, and we make a four for me, you know. You have um, Van Dijk gets one then. Um, he's starting to rack up a few Van Dijk, which is good to see. Um, having a centre half that scores is really good. But look, it's on to Barcelona in the, sem- in the semi-finals. Before we touch on Cardiff, it's it's shaping up to be an an outrageous semi-final, Matt. That's the only words I can do. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's the two two best teams in the competition probably, uh, and it, they're both set up to create an amazing match. Now, a lot of times when this happens, it turns out to be a nil-nil. It's pretty shit. But, in theory, it could be absolutely that. madness. The, the way we're playing now, uh, Liverpool in the start, Liverpool in December or the start of the season, sorry, not, uh, before December, early on in the season, where we're getting the one nils, we were very solid. We were scraping through games. Not really scraping, but controlling the game, getting the one nil and securing it. And then that, that's a different different game but this team now that we've turned into towards the end of the season is similar to when Klopp first came on board and we're an attacking machine we basically were playing with two eights and a holding midfielder um, and, and against Bayern if we do the same uh, I think we we it'd be difficult we're better. Bayern I think Bayern. Uh, we're playing them. yeah we're playing them. of course it will but no, I don't we're not think, playing them we're not playing them, we're playing Barca. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Barca, you tits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I think I think we can do them if we play that way. I mean, I've seen them 26 times this season anyway, so I know <laughs> all about Yeah, when they moved from Sky and they moved it to uh, the other channels, I went and... Iraqi goals. I bought, I bought a subscription because um, I had Ajax TV, but I thought, look, it's well worth getting the, the Spanish TV in as well just to watch all the games and... Um, Things like that. So, listen, um, Grizz, the semi-final for from for you is a one you're confident going into because I think it's a flip of a coin. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I think if Barcelona are weak, weak, weak idiot. No, I, weak. I think it's a, I, absolute weak. I, I think it's a flip of a coin. If you let me finish, I think it's a flip no, of a coin. No, we don't. But do that. Guys we don't do that. If they hiding. if they are as open, do if, they, uh, <laughs> if they are as open against us. As they were against United in the first 15 minutes at the new camp, we will rip them a fucking sunder. And that's that's the, there's no other way of looking at it. I I think we win it because they're just that bit too open. That's my opinion on it. For you, Grizz, what way do you see it going? First and foremost, it's a pure enjoyment. It's, it's something to enjoy, and, and really, really, it's really, it's 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 no, there's no pressure in it. Well, for me, there's no pressure going into it. It's a pure game to look forward to and really relish and enjoy. Um, and as we were talking 
before we went live, it really is just messy. I mean, I, I you know, as, 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 as brilliant as Coutinho and, and Suarez and Busquets are, the only one that sort of fear, uh, puts fear into us or me or Klopp even probably, you know, is Messi. I mean, at the end of the day, he literally can win games single-handedly and he's been doing it all his life. But I feel we are probably the best equipped team to take Messi and Barcelona on and still beat them at their game. Do you know what I mean by that, Gav? In terms of, we will go toe-to-toe with you. And there's not many teams that can beat us when we when they go toe-to-toe with us. And Barcelona is that club that will not change their style and go toe-to-toe. Even though their current manager uh, is slightly conservative compared to the other one they've had in, in, in recent history, I still think they will try to play their game, which suits us. We've said it time and time again. Who's when people, the manager? Teams Valverde. Who's so, the one before? Ernest, Ernest Valverde. Johan Cruyff. Johan Cruyff, the one before, yeah. Bobby Robson. And Rijkaard. Right, but, the, but, but if, they, if they play their game, as Gav says, the way they started against... Um, who was it, Gav, they played? United. They were so United. Awesome. It was untrue. Yeah, and we know United are shit, you know, going forward every, in every aspect. But even United had, had chances against them. You know, there was four or five chances where they could have capitalised... I'm confident over two legs, especially the second leg being at Anfield. Am I right? Am I yeah, yeah you're yeah, right there, yeah. Right, so second leg at Anfield. We get an away goal, even if they beat us 2-1, for argument's sake, for weak man's sake. Right? If they, if they, if they, even if they beat us 2-1 at, at, um, at New Camp, we can we bring them to Anfield. I'm confident we will. They won't Camp be able new. to hack us. We, Camp, Camp, Camp New, yeah? Camp New. We, I'd be confident of us turning them over at Anfield. Um, there's a few comments coming in here saying you can't, you can't stop current Messi, and another one saying uh, Barca are class if they turn up at Anfield. That you know they'll worry us. I'm not saying they won't worry us. You know, I just think the confidence I have in this Liverpool side is like we said, they go toe to toe. They'll open a game up and they go toe to toe. The biggest thing for me though is that Barcelona like to dominate the ball and they like to dominate a high of the pitch uh, that'll suit us as well because if we get it off them I think I just think we can get at them I just think there's so many ways we can get at you and you know don't get me wrong Barcelona are top draw but I think the energy we have and the different ways we can play I think just edges us just edges it for us but look it's it's going to be amazing it's going to be um it's going to be two cracking games and, and may the best team win. I know the Newcastle game is being moved now to the Saturday because of this. Um, I think the rumour was quarter eight on a Saturday night, um, Saturday the 4th of May, so someone could probably look that up and, and confirm it for me. Stephen LSC asked me earlier, are we doing the double? You better fucking believe we're doing the double. Um, That's how uh, I know we're beating Barca, because <coughs> we're doing a double. Yeah, because so, that, don't, Stephen, don't be worrying, we are doing the double. Um, just moving on to Cardiff, lads. Um, you know, the cop table are doing a podcast tonight and they're previewing it as well. That'll be out from tomorrow lunchtime for you to download. But we're going to have a quick look as well because, look, there's only four games left. So um, we'll probably just pick a team and do a quick prediction. So, uh, Matt, for you, team prediction, go. Same as Chelsea. Same as Chelsea. All right, fair enough. Grizz, for you, same as Chelsea. Well, the score, the line. No, go on. Give me your team and then I'll give you mine and then we'll... Yeah, the line-up, line up, line up, as we said, I think the league games pick itself. OK. We, we, we really didn't need Cardiff winning the other day. I'm telling you guys. Yeah, I know. I'm for Cardiff. It's Cardiff, you tit. Yeah, but to be honest with you, Grizz, I, 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 I agree with Grizz. Why, why are you so weak? I agree I agree with Grizz. I want Cardiff to get beaten the other day and really put them down I, the dumps. I, but I will say, Grizz... It doesn't, it doesn't matter one it, single it actually, bit. It actually doesn't because they're still in last chance. If they lose on, if they, it's the last chance again, you know what I mean. They're literally hoping nearly to win every game to get out of this. Um, you, you're talking about a team here who's lost 21 games a season, playing the team that are top of the league in a, a season which is fucking unprecedented of mm. points total, and you're saying you wish they won last week. Stop shit, being. No, we know where he's coming. Shit. No, we know where he's coming from, Matt. Because no, you want, no, you want, you want. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he, shit doesn't happen, does it, Matt? Shit no, you happen, you, huh? you do want teams to be fucking absolutely. 
Yeah. On their arse from playing it. against you. But having said that, Cardiff coming no. out, Cardiff coming out was something to play for, and a little bit of belief might again yeah, walk into our favour. Right? Oh, have you not? I have not started? Given a prediction, right? And he's gone. No, no, no. Like yeah, I know. Goes, That's right? okay. No, no. You, you stop I'm talking. Saying, the team. No, what I'm the, saying is, what I'm saying, we didn't need the game, the kind of game we're going to have at this stage of the season, because we thought we, most of us, even including you, including me, all of us, we thought, fucking hell, we've done the hard work beating Saints, Chelsea, and Spurs. And we can, fingers crossed, smash those last four games, right? I'm still confident we're going to find a way of winning, right? So I'm not saying we're, you know, we're going to drop points. We will find a way of winning. I just As don't in think putting the ball in their nest. I just don't I'm think. Not, not I, just don't, I just don't think it's going to be one of your fucking. We're going to smash it. That's what three I'm nil. saying. Three nil. Three nil done. Okay. Easy. Matt, Toronto oh. predictions. Three nil. I, team wise, yeah, I think it's the same team as you're seeing against them. Um, as you've seen against Chelsea, I really do. Um, and I think that might be the team he prefers going to the end of the season. Wijnaldum will have a, will come in at a certain times, probably for Keita. More than likely for Keita, if he wants to go that way. But I think it's the same team. Matt, you're going 3 0. Grizz, what are you going with? I'm going for 2 1 to us. 2 1. 2 1 to us. Okay, I'm, go, I'm going for 4 1. What are you nodding your head for? Hmm? I didn't do anything. Matt, no, I can't see you. Matt, he's nodding his head like, fucking hell. All right, well, he's gone for 2-1. Um, that's a win. Um, yeah, it's a win. Yeah, I, I'm going 5-1 Liverpool. Um, for fuck's sake. Fuck's um, sake. We're not fucking around here, Chris. Uh, so, you know, at the end of, at the, end of the day, we, we, we score early and um, we get 2 or 3 and they get 1 back and they think they're great and then we just go and fucking them on. It's 4 or 5-1. We're, we're winning the game. Because I've, I've already said we're, we're winning our next four, so I have to stick with it. Um, Matt's gone three 0 Grizz has gone two one. A lot of people here are asking uh, how many points we take at the end of the season and what way it finishes up. So let's get down to that before we finish. Matt, um, four games left. How many 12. points? Twelve. Great. And with those twelve, Matt, do you believe that we win the league? Yes. Great. Grizz, how many points within the next four games, please? Ten. Ten, you absolute wanker. Who are we drawing against? He's going to say Newcastle away. I know he's going to say Newcastle away. Jack knows. Yeah, I knew he was going to say it. Um, for me, it's 12, and 97 does do it. But, having said that, in order for that to happen, 97, and for us to win it, City have to drop points somewhere. And the big conversation at the minute is, where are they going to drop them? They had a massive game of the week against Spurs, but Spurs seemed very fucking depleted squad-wise. I was speaking to a Spurs fan today, and he was saying, I'd rest fucking everybody. I'd take the risk and rest, risk everyone, because he reckons six or seven points in the last four four games will do it. They will. They will. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced of it, they will. Okay. So, Grizz, um, you're saying 10 points, which gives us 95, and you don't think that does it for us, don't you know? Unfortunately, no. Okay, so Matt, Matt, if we get 97 and City need to drop points, where do you feel they're dropping them? Burnley right. away. I, I, do you know what? I was going to say I'm only giving you one game to pick, seriously, because they're not dropping points in two. So Burnley away for you? Yeah. Okay. Is this, so is check, this, check this theory out, Gaff. No, hold on. Check, hold on. No, so, Gaff, hold on. No, hold on. No, I just, no, I, I, I just, I, I just want to confirm right something. To I just want to confirm something. Burnley, you haven't got the right to do nothing. It's Burnley, you shut up and it's, sit in your place. Is Burnley, yes. is Burnley away a genuine show, or is it a let's play Moreno show? No, why are you asking? See, why are you asking him that? He said it now. He said Burnley. I Burnley. believe we will drop points. They will drop points against Spurs, United, or Burnley. Well, um, I'm gonna have to ask you to take one because they're not they're not dropping. Um, Burnley. Burnley. Burnley is the one after. They've played all the hard games. Right. So, Gav, so, Gav. Yeah, I wait. Hey. Hold on. They said they'll, they'll, they'll think it's the easy one. Mm-hmm. The tired legs. Mm-hmm. Barely get a late late goal, 1-0. Okay. From, so, Gav. Yeah. Gav. Yeah. So, do you know, do you know when I said Cardiff's going to be a hard one and a tough one? So, you said, what do you mean how Cardiff? So, Burnley have lost like 20 times, right, this season as well. 17. Uh, and they're playing Man City, who massive 17. 100, points, 100 points last season mm-hmm. and over 95 probably this season, right? Mm-hmm. And how, and what logic has he used now? See, this is you where think, I tell Man... You think logic is, comes into this, supporting this, a football team? Yeah, <laughs> shit. Go on, Are you not biased? Not biased? 
Uh, your bias towards City. For me, for fan, me, typical London City fan. I think for me, um, I don't see Spurs taking anything at the weekend. I think if Spurs had to be beaten, weak, weak gap. No, I'm not finished. Shut the fuck up for a minute. <laughs> I, oh, I don't I don't see Spores taking points off them. I think I think if Spores had a, went out last night and not had the issues they have, like, you know, players being out and stuff like that, I would have expected City after a war last night going through, I off the ball a little bit and Spores were a bit to play for. Being out of the Champions League and having to focus on trying to get into it for next season, I would have thought, hmm, yeah, I don't see it now. I, I agree with Chris. I see them resting as many as they can and taking the risk and saying, right, I think they have five games left, um, not four. So I, t- I see them resting a lot of players and taking the risk than the last four they can get the job done. And I think their running is fairly handy. <coughs> the United game, um, I think that's where they drop the points. Um, people are writing off United. I don't think United are a good side. But no matter what you say, United do not want to lose to City. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has got a contract at United and if he goes out and loses there, he's on something like fucking six of the last eight lost. I think they're definitely going to be looking at, at, at trying to get points there. Could the Leicester do it? Could Burnley do it? I don't really know. I think our hope is in the next two and I think it might be United ready to do it. Um, I just think out of the two run-ins, theirs is a lot tougher than ours. Mm, yeah, I agree. So... And they've they've had a little bit of a knock. They're not invincible. I I, I think it can play into our hands a little bit. They, they, I mean, this is me being a Liverpool fan and obviously biased towards us, but I I, I just see it set up better for us than it is for them at yeah, the moment. I'd agree with you, David. David Tuffer running. Um, and I was saying last. You should call me David. Well, did I call you David? Yeah. No, but I can if you want. Nice. Right. Okay. Um, but. The thing is, for me, um, I was saying in the WhatsApp group last night, what does that do to City last night? What does it do to Guardiola? You know, it's, it could be a case where things just go from bad to worse. We've seen it with Liverpool teams. You think you're flying, you know, somebody slips over and all of fucking hell breaks loose. You know what I mean? So you never know the, the psyche of it. And that's the tournament he wanted last night. That's that's the tournament he wanted. He's now gone into a fourth season with City. He did, the best he has for show is a quarter final in which he got absolutely spanked around the place. Um, you know, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how they react on Saturday. I would have liked him to see Spurs go full strength and put it up to them, but I don't see it. Um, lads, the, or Grizz in particular, are being asked about different transfer bits and pieces. Um, Timo, oh. Werner, Timo, Timo Werner is the name that's come up. So, Grizz, any, um, any Timo Werner news? There is, but I don't think now is the time to talk about transfers. Do you know? or even look forward to transfers. I'm really so engrossed in what could be an absolute amazing, amazing end to a season. Mm. Or it could be a heartbreak for you guys. I um, agree with Grace on that. But uh, no, it's not heartbreak. If you just again. my opinion on the tip, go on. I was right, going to say that, wanna, again, you, even if we don't win, like last oh, it's season, been amazing. it's the start, it's, so, it's, been, a, it's been amazing, uh, and we're going to carry on. No, well, I'm, I'm, be, I'm going to be honest with you, lads. If we don't win this league, I'm going to be absolutely fucking beside myself. Um, I I'm genuinely, and listen, I'm, I'm, and I'm worried. And I'm, worried I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm worried listen, about listen, I'm not hedging any bets. I'm telling you, I'm going to be fucking on the floor if we don't win this league. Matt's going to be right because he doesn't but we, watch any football. But we, He's I'm, going to go, I'm going town. But yeah, we, um, you're going to town. You're going to go fucking. Drag racing, probably, or something, and you know, <laughs> Drag and, and you know, it doesn't matter. He doesn't watch any football. He hasn't got a clue what's going on. But I do worry about you. I do <laughs> worry about you. This is fuming. Yeah, I think he's snapping. Snapping. <laughs> snapping. <laughs> but uh, no, it doesn't matter. I would, genuinely, I would like all these things of you know people going, ah, well, this and out, no, me bollocks. You're in it now. You're in it. You're either in it or not. Listen, and, uh, if, we don't win the, if we don't win the league with ninety-seven points. Well, listen, I'm going, we're all going to live up to the last year. Anyway. So, it's absolute mental. Sorry, uh, uh, BS1899 said it is always the time for transfers. Listen, Grizz won't answer you. But he told me during the week we're very close to uh, agreeing. When, is, when is done. 
Yeah. When is there done? It's not done, but we're very, we're very close to agreeing terms. But then, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's yeah, like he couldn't, he couldn't, no, he couldn't, couldn't have it's, anyone else having the line. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like when you're in, 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 it's like when you're in the pub. I just told you, I told him earlier. Yeah, he did. No, he did. Um, he did. And uh, but it's like when you're, it's like when you're in the pub, and that force piss, and then you know you just. The seal is broken, and the seal just got broken there, and Grizz was straight in like a light. I'm very proud of you, Grizz. Thanks very much. I don't think it's the time. Oh, Timo Werner's done. <laughs> <laughs> BS, <laughs> BS 1899 is definitely getting blocked back for that. Uh, but anyway, listen, that's us. That's the fat back for. Um, we'll be back with you. We're going to try to do this next Thursday again, yeah? Try to get on a bit earlier as well, because Matt's back in the land of the desert next next week so we'll try to do a bit earlier but we'll definitely try to get back and every week up until the end of the season put it this way next week I think this time next week because they play uh, City they play United in midweek don't they correct Wednesday night yeah this time next week we will know if we are basically Premier League champions or not we won't because we haven't played Burnley yet I said basically Basically, we'll know. What, what if uh, all the games are won between now and then? Mm. Yeah, we then, won't. Then I'll stick with my original prediction. Yeah, but we haven't played Burnley yet. See? No, we have. Point. They haven't. And we haven't we played Newcastle yet. Handy. Don't worry about them. Should they have lost, so, yeah. They've lost 28 times this season. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah. Have we got Geordie TV as well? Well, yeah, I have that as well, yeah. Rapid, it's called Rafa TV. Free big massive, <laughs> big big massive uh, sports direct mug. I got Fact. when uh, when um, when I signed up to that. But look, now that's it. That's the fat back four. We'll be back, which is um, we'll be back, which is next week.